Hey, how's everybody doing? It's been a while since I've done a video, uh, but since the fall's here, I'm gonna be start working back in the snowmobiles. So today, we're gonna be talking about Speedworks uh, intake options. So I'm gonna go over a couple different options that Speedworks has, and I'm gonna do an install of their cold air high flow intake. Now this intake here, I've been running for the last year. Um, I don't run into deep snow. Everything is predominantly um, trail riding, lake racing, stuff like that. Uh, but when I was dynoing, I noticed that my intake temps were down, so it helped have a more accurate uh, reading when on a dyno machine as to being in the cold and you know just out trail riding or racing or whatever. All right, so this is the first option. It's just a frog skin and they tell you to cut out a little template where you'll get some more air into it, into the box, which the only other air sources are gonna be from the side of the sled, which feeds all the way down into the turbo. Uh, this kit here, which comes with a lot of Speedworks um, tunes, is about 13 bucks or so, maybe 15 bucks. So when you get the kit from Speedworks for this style intake, which is the cold air high flow intake, you're gonna get this aluminum housing here with a rubber coupler and a frog skin that goes in the top. You're also gonna get some of their aluminum vent covers, some rivets, a couple clamps, stickers, and an instruction kit. Now the cool thing with this cold air intake kit is it matches the vents that you can buy from Speedworks separately. So this vent here I installed, it's gonna be clutch side and it's gonna give you a little bit more help getting rid of the heat under the hood, along with a intake as well. I kind of cut it out in my wrap there uh, just so it flows a lot better. But that's gonna be a vent as well where you can get some colder air from the front down to keep these clutches cool. It also has one on the other side as well. So that way on the exhaust side, you can get some nice cold air in there. So first things first, we're gonna remove this. There's gonna be two rivets under there with little nut inserts. You're just gonna pop them off. And we're just gonna remove this out of there. Next, we're just gonna remove the intake tube on top of the turbo. Uh, I already had the clamps taken off. Uh, I did get this RPM heavy silicone one, so the intake uh, tube on top of the turbo doesn't collapse under high boost applications. Then you just install this with the rivets. So this location is going to be a 3 16 rivet from there and right there. That's gonna be the two original holes from factory where there was gonna be a metal um, nut ring on the back of it you had to pry off. These two over here are gonna have to drill. Um, so I put a 1 8 drill bit on that and then you're just gonna have to transition to a 1 8 rivet from a 3 16 rivet. Just secure those on there and then that's nice and secure. In regards to the um, cold air intake here, um, I just put the two fasteners on there. As you can see, it's nice and secure up top. Not gonna hit, not gonna tear anything up. And then put it into the stock intake as well, right there. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put a, another hose clamp or anything on there. Um, probably not, because it's actually pretty tight because the plastic from the original one seats up to it nice. So I'm probably not gonna put a, another hose clamp on there, um, but Again, that looks extremely clean from that side to that side. 
So as you can see, it's nice and secure. It's not moving whatsoever. Fits perfect with the Speedworks L2. It's kind of messy right now, but I also run the lightweight muffler, which is gonna fit perfect on there. And then I also have the modified trail muffler, which you've seen in my previous dyno videos. Now that I have this new intake on, when I do go and dyno this, um, I'm going to probably put a piece of tape over the top of here um, so that no air is seeping through here. Do a couple pulls on it with this intake in. Um, I'll probably do a couple pulls with the normal style intake in there with this closed and with this open. And then also test out the Advent Performance um, intake. That's going to be mounted right on top of the turbo. It's going to be going right through the vent here. It's going to side up here. Um, more of a, a race application. All right, so that is the completed side over there. And that is installed over here. All right, so that wraps up the little overview and install of the Speedworks cold air high flow intake for the Polaris Boost applications. The next video, I'm probably going to be doing an overview of the Speedworks Polaris A arm bushings. Um, so thanks for watching. And make sure you click the link in the description of this video to go to the Speedworks website to check out these intake options.